Hey, what's going on guys? This is Brandon, your trusted realtor, and I'm coming to you with another great episode. I want to talk specifically about the change in the seasons. The season that comes with so much change, really, because there is a shifting in not only the weather patterns, but it's a shifting in our own personal patterns. The clock falls back. There are so many different things that change that we have to be accounted for. But one of the things that many time that we as homeowners forget and that you as future homeowners should take into consideration is that we have to think about the maintenance and the changes that we're taking that are taking place in our homes. Our homes are a asset and they are a mechanical structure. They provide us with so much joy and protection and safety. <clears throat> and it's important that we are mindful and responsible that there are certain mechanical and structural things that we need to do as the seasons change in order to ensure that our homes are in the best position to reap the highest and best potential value for us at some point in the future. Now, you're probably sitting back and asking yourself, Brandon, what are you talking about? Besides the fact that you probably, I need to shave, what is it that you're actually talking about? Well, in the United States, between 2015 and 2017, there was an average annually of 17, of more than 17,600 chimney fires that occurred in the United States. And the weather began to shift and it got cold. Homeowners turned that AC off because fun fact, once the temperature drops below 60 degrees or 65 degrees outside, you should not have the AC on because that causes too much pressure on the system to function and you could run the risk of actually blowing out your AC unit if you leave it on as temperatures begin to dip. So something to be mindful about if you sleep with the AC on and we transition into, into these colder climates. But back to what we're talking about. Here, we're talking about our furnace. We're talking about those chimney systems. And we're talking about those mechanical structures in our homes that are going to cost us tens of thousands of dollars to replace. Now, some of you are probably saying, hey, Brandon, what? Ha but <clears throat> even if my furnace or my chimney or if I have a problem there, wouldn't my home warranty cover this? And the answer is yes. As long as you have the right home warranty coverage and it covers mechanical and structural issues, then you'll to you'd be totally fine to make sure. You just want to read the fine print to make sure that your particular home warranty program will cover all of the, the particular things that could potentially go wrong. Ideally, completely replacing the unit and getting a better sense of what that home warranty program requires in order to get to the place of replacement of the unit. Now, as it relates to your furnace and your chimney, as the temperature drops, before you get to a place and before we get to a place where the temperature drops too extreme, you want to go ahead and set, in my recommendation, an appointment with a furnace expert. I recently came across this situation while I was going through a home inspection with a client. We found that there was some rust on the chimney and I was slightly concerned that this rust and the language that was used by the home inspector was not particularly exact. Now, Fine. More context to this. I was actually able to get a copy of an earlier home inspection that was done and the language that was used was really probabilistic. It said that there probably could be some. So it really wasn't definitive. And so when we had our home inspection done, I, I wanted to ask some very pointed questions, which was what is the level of erosion that has occurred as it relates to the rust that we're seeing? Now, rust can have a, diff a few different stages if it's on a chimney. It can be surface level or it can begin to erode the surface which then breaks down the integrity of the metal structure or the chimney. That degradation or reduction in structural integrity means that it permits carbon dioxide or uh, carbon monoxide to be released from the chimney into the home which can be deadly for anyone that lives in that property. So the reason why all of this is important is because I was able to do some additional research and get referred to the certified chimney suites. It was amazing information for me to find out and to 
and to realize that I can go to a single solitary source and find someone who is going to be helpful, especially considering that a, I wanted to make sure that the integrity of my client's roof was going to be secured. And B, I already knew that I was going to be transitioning or the seasons were going to be transitioning. And I wanted to get some work done myself to my own property. So last week, I was actually able to coordinate and I was able to leverage a couple things. One, I used my home warranty policy and I called and, and requested for them to send over a technician. They sent over a technician in order to inspect the furnace. Now I've been on my fair share of home inspections and evaluation and walkthroughs. So this looking at a furnace and a furnace unit is nothing that's foreign to me. So I had a fairly clear idea of what the condition of my unit is and how it has been functioning. Most recently and er earlier this month, I noticed that there had been some water on the floor. It wasn't water from the standpoint of condensation or anything that drip, anything of that manner, but to me, it looked like a, a drip. I monitored it over the course of a week or two and realized that I had a leak in my pipe. I knew that I had to do something immediately because as the cold temperatures began to change or began to approach, that, that there was a heightened likelihood that that would cause a freeze or a cracking of my pipes and cause significantly more damage once we kick the furnace on. Lo and behold, through using my home warranty, I was able to, to pay a flat rate. That flat rate got a professional out here that came, serviced the unit, reinforced the fact that the unit was working properly and functioning properly. And this individual, the professional was able to cut out the pipe and replace it from the portion of my, of the furnace that was leaking. This is going to ensure not only the integrity of the property that I'm in, but the life of the furnace. I made actually an Instagram post and I, and I was very specific and honest about this. I do not care about that furnace, but what I do care about is the ability of that furnace to provide value for me right now and value for me in the future when I decide to either rent this property or I decide to sell this property. I know that that incremental maintenance up and making sure that I do those routine repairs and checks on those mechanical systems and structures are going to ensure the protection and the integrity of the home. In addition to that, that's going to ensure our safety here in the home. As I as I'm here with my family, it's going to be most important to make sure that we're not adversely impacted by odorless, tasteless gases like carbon monoxide that can, that can cause us death while we are here in our homes. Even though there are, what are those things called? Smoke detectors that are mixed use that can detect for those things. Eliminate the source of the problem by making sure that you go through routine checks and evaluations of your property. Some things that you could think about when it comes to your property and, and chimney, chimneys and furnaces is that you will begin to hear things like loud crackling or popping noises when you turn that furnace on, or you begin to even smell like an intense hot smoke, or a uh, you'll hear like a lot or, or see a lot of dense smoke. And these are all indications of the potential or the onset of a chimney fire. And these chimney fires are real. And the research that I was able to collect from the certified chimney sweeps, they even indicate that around 10,000 cases of, car of carbon monoxide related injuries are reported each year. And this is primarily due to people fit failure to maintain the integrity of their chimney flutes and their chimney lines. So just because you don't have a traditional chimney where you have to put wood or it's electrical, there is, we all in our homes have some type of exhaust system and those systems have to be checked and maintained. Now the same is going to hold true when the seasons change again and it becomes warmer. You're going to want to have somebody come out and check out that HVAC system and make sure that you're in a place to protect your asset and your investment. The last note that I'll leave you with is remember to turn off the water inside of your holes, both the external spigot 
on the front of the house and the back of the house if you have them and to go and to turn the spigot on and to release any water that is inside of the pipeline to ensure that your pipes do not crack. Well, I said this is the last one, but one other thing. If you have a, if your furnace, if you have a furnace, of course you have a furnace. If, if you're interested in preserving heat in your furnace, one thing I recommend is going to get a furnace blanket. A furnace blanket is fairly inexpensive that you can get from a big box store or a small mom and pop store if you have that in your neighborhood. And a furnace blanket covers the the outside of the furnace to re to preserve the heat inside of the unit so it doesn't escape and it gives it protects with uh, energy conservation so uh, additional tips tricks and hacks for you as a homeowner and you as a soon-to-be homeowner make sure make you subscribe like and hit that notification button and stay tuned in and in tune to the latest and greatest take care and talk to you soon